and I would like to first of all thank uh, Hyderabad uh, Custom Broker Association for giving me this chance to uh, look at this uh, or try to resolve this issue. Because as a business owner, we are, uh, I'm also sailing in the same boat as you. Because work from home is a new concept for everyone. Every one of us, this is a completely new concept. I may not be into logistics, I may be in the technology field, but the challenges are pretty similar. And uh, my response is also very, very, uh, in, a, in a very similar way, as uh, you people have discussed. So um, I'd like to uh, cover all of your questions, probably uh, in a presentation. So can I start my presentation? Uh, Amitji, we could not hear the last line because there was some internet uh, uh, issue. Uh, you, then you can uh, do the presentation. Yeah. Uh, what I was explaining was, you know, that as a business owner, my challenges are also similar for work, work from home. Because work from home does not mean that, you know, I can simply give desktops and desktops, uh, laptops and uh, let people go home and start working. It's a complete change. It's a kind of a digitization of your own thinking uh, rather than digitization of the business. It is also digitization of all your business. I also learned in a very similar way. Right now, as you know, I'm, I'm in Singapore and uh, I'm uh, so far uh, from India, but my office is able to give everyone the service which is, uh, which is required by them. And probably nobody will notice that I'm not there in India, but I'm able to manage the teams very, very successfully remotely. So uh, I, will, I will be sharing some of my experiences, what I've gone through and how I have tried to uh, keep, keep every, everyone motivated, you know, everyone working at the same time, you know, because this is a difficult time for everyone. So how, how people can be motivated and a lot of, lot of other things, which is very, very important. Because coordination is another important thing, which is very well required. So uh, these are the things which, uh, which uh, you know, I would like to, um, you know, address on. Please go ahead. Please so, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Yes, Kamalji. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, I think you want to present something yeah, and with the to, help of presenting. Yeah, I wanted to present my, uh, so what I will do is I will just share my screen, which will give you some idea what exactly, uh, you know, how, how the things are and how we can uh, survive or succeed in times of COVID. And this is not a one-off situation. Probably this is going to continue. Please proceed. Succeeding in times of COVID-19 and beyond. This is, this is what is the, uh, you know, uh, something which uh, which is every everybody is wondering what it is or how we, they are going to. So first of all, uh, we have to accept the fact. Are we waiting for uh, things to get normal? Is people still are waiting that you know things will get normal? Uh, they will start going back to their offices or uh, their. Uh, um, what you call their, uh, they will start going to the malls or they will start going to theaters. Are we waiting for things to normal? I will like uh, all of you to tell me how you people are thinking. So if you, if you can use your chat box and you feel if the things will get normal, say yes, that things will get normal or say no, if things you feel cannot get normal. All participants can just put no or yes, whatever you wish like. <laughs> so what it seems, yes, there are people who feel that things will be normal, but according to me, if you look at the look at the yesterday's uh, WHO uh, statement, which clearly said that coronavirus may never go away. If this virus 
who is so contagious if this doesn't go away can be you know what is what is the normal or what is the normal i think we have no choice but we'll have to learn to live with it that is the only thing what we can probably do because corona virus according to the who also now and many experts it is may not go may not go away at all and this puts a lot of things in uh, you know uh, a lot of uh, a lot of challenge and a lot of not only in our uh, professional life but even in our personal life it is going to put a lot of challenges it's a highly contagious virus it is not unlike the other viruses which are which have come in the past uh, which are were not so contagious but this virus is a completely different genre so what is the new normal we have to first of all transform first of all accept that this is going to be something which we have to live with it and then we need to transform to take care of this new normal now what is new normal because that earlier normal that you know everybody is going to going to their offices people you know children are going to school we are uh, traveling you know in the evening we are having dinner at a restaurant these were the normal lifestyle now what is the new normal i think this new normal is work from home stay at home is the new normal we as long as you know wherever it is avoidable that you know give things can be done from home i believe in very very uh, you know time to come or a very very long time to come this is going to stay that people are going to stay at home work from home wherever they can of course the some physical activity like you know taking out delivery or transporting some goods one place to another that cannot be done <clears throat> but rest of the thing can whatever can be managed from home and can can or should be managed now look at this webinar now, earlier we used to have seminar in fact i was talking to uh, you know uh, hyderabad association for a long time to do a physical seminar in hyderabad and it never happened and now you know through electronically we can easily do it so this is this is something which is which has given us a you know a new tool or a new technology which is very possible to be with each other now question is in this new normal from the professional side how to work from home or for that matter anywhere let somebody be anywhere and try to work the question is can you simply take your laptop desktop and start working from home i would like to ask you people that is it possible is it possible that you know you uh, you just give the laptop and desktops and and probably probably the software is there and uh, let people work from home is it a possibility i would like again to ask you people to give a little uh, thought and write on the chat box if you think that uh, this is possible that just give laptop and desktop and people can start working can you please uh, uh, you know um, give give some that whether it is possible or not if you agree say say yes <laughs> you are right you are absolutely right it is not possible or the technology even if you have the technology let us assume the technology barrier is not there and you have the required laptops and desktop and you just give it give it to your people and try to make them work from home actually you are absolutely right it is not possible because work from home completely require a different way because there are many challenges if you look at the challenges it's a complete first of all we have to accept and then we have to ready for transform and not only the digital transformation of business but i am calling it digitizing mindset that you know we have to think digital it's not only that company as you know employees or or your people or your teams have taken the laptops and desktop at home that is not going to be because obviously you want them to be productive you want your customers to be serviced in a proper way so this is something which we have to th rethink that laptop and desktop is not going to work we have to change our mindset 
we have to digitize mindset i'm calling it a, i'm giving the word digitizing my mindset thinking digitally what are the challenges now look at some of the challenges now before that just look at these offices how earlier offices used to look like there's a management who everybody inside can monitor manage all activity somewhere there is some something accountant is working somewhere this is working where there is a typical office where there are different different software for different different activity somebody is using excel somebody is using uh, you know some crm somebody is using some accounting software somebody is using uh, custom filing or somebody is using for freight somebody is using for documentation so you know this is the typical office which uh, you know used to be now you want this guy to take you know some you know computer at home or one person take computer at home and keep on working do you think it is going to work so let us look at the challenges if we allow the same model to just go away where you know this management does not have a site but all these people have the required software and they just go home and start working what is going to happen if that becomes if you look at it some of the challenges i have obviously investment in laptop this is something you know which uh, which is always will be there that you know you have to uh, buy uh, or people will have to have a internet connectivity proper place to work all this more important than that is changing mindset changing mindset of ourselves as well as our workforce now this is the most important and the most important challenge because as acceptance is there but how to change the mindset now this is this is the most difficult part upskilling of our team because now they are working at home how they have no assistance from their uh, you know peer group how they are going to work without having to be upskilled so upskilling our teams is also another important thing defining system and processes for every activity now this is the because when in office we can we can simply say that okay this is the way you have to work and probably people will understand and they will start working and if they do go wrong they can come back we can always guide them but in this we need to have a very define the processes their processes should be very much very clearly defined that this is going to happen this is going to happen after that this is going to happen these processes need to be well defined signature now who is going to be signature because you cannot allow all 100 of uh, your uh, your team members or all uh, your team members to be, be become a signing authority or digital signature which is required for the uh, for the regulatory requirements <clears throat> so obviously you have to create a system how the signatures how the and again minded people are not in office they are at home you you cannot freely just keep on sending the documents here and there because there are all the documents come with some kind of a uh, commercial uh, you know you cannot this, those cannot be freely distributed data security one of the biggest challenge monitoring performance now um, uh, i heard rajkumar ji saying that you know we we take in the morning and then we take in the evening evening work uh, you know i i feel you know as as the work from home becomes a reality we should not be concentrating on the timing time is no longer the factor i keep on telling my teams also that company is no longer paying for time company is paying for outcome so as a as a as a you know i also learned it hard way when we shifted to uh, you know work from home actually we started one week before actually officially announced 10 days before actually and during that i to i told the same thing to people that okay record the attendance morning what time evening what time you know what time they are working what activity they are doing soon i realized that this is a this is a complete futile exercise i'm doing because company is no longer paying people for time so why i have bothered about what time they are working what they are time they are not working so i change change my method i change the way that i need to monitor or make sure that whatever is the outcome so focus on outcome not on time or not on activity also that what is the activity they are doing that is least of my botheration as a as a custom broker you should be that how many successfully they file without any errors now this is this is the outcome 
rather than what time they work, what time they don't work, that is the least of my botheration. But the moment they people get get the task, how soon they finish. Now that is that is the most important part. So these are the challenges. Now how to address these challenges? Now that is something which I will like to uh, share my own experiences. <clears throat> And again, map to your freight forwarding and the custom broking activity, because as you all know, I started my career also as your uh, as a custom broker. So I have a sufficiently good idea that what are the challenges, uh, you know, normally uh, you people are facing. So I will I will now uh, give you the idea about how to digitize and transform one's business. If you look at it invest in cloud technology many of you have already invested you have the right technology with you but people who have not yet invested and who are still using the different different or a multiple software or a desktop softwares please invest in cloud technology because that is the basic building block second is operation control excise complete operation control it should be because when everything is happening in front of your eyes that's a different thing or your manager's eyes it's a completely different but right now everything is happening in remote so operational control is very important i will dwell on all these in detail in my next slides and control your finances i know Finance is the most, one of the most neglected part of uh, any uh, small, me, small, medium business enterprises. But this is something now very, very important. I will come on it a little later, but let us now first focus on the cloud technology. What the cloud technology should give you or what rather you should expect out of it. Cloud technology should empower you with all your data and documents can be accessed from anywhere, which you know already that once the data is on cloud, your documents are on the cloud, it can be accessed from anywhere. You are not restricted that you know you need to be in office or your team need to be office or you need to have the computer where all the information is. No, it can be accessed from anywhere. That is the first and foremost thing it is going to do. Then second thing, it should be, it should be uh, uh, you know, capable of seamlessly integrating all your departments because you have the various department obviously you have account you have billing you have uh, custom filing you have a documentation you have a customer support you have sales you have field so all these departments should be able to uh, able to connect through a single platform rather than working in yeah you have you have whatsapp you have viber you have other other chat uh, chat application you have email you have phone call but all these are happening without within p2p and you are not aware of, and it cannot be, uh, you know, you, it, 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 that doesn't give the responsibility and accountability to individual and department which is required. So seamless integration, the cloud technology should be able to seamlessly integrate all your departments. Meaning, uh, as soon as a delivery is taken, somebody in accounting knows that, you know, we have to prepare, prepare the invoice. It should not be a somebody calling and somebody telling them. So that is, again, very important. Then another thing is any device. Now any device is why it is important that many of times, you know, in office you can provide the best of the environments, but once at home or once outside, it cannot be the best of the environments. So obviously your technology should be able to be accessed from any device. Any device can be used, be it tablet, be it Mac, be it laptop, be it uh, any, any device can be used, should, should be able, you should be able to use. So this will give you the business continuity. Now business continuity is very important because lockdown or you know the way the WHO and the, the way the governments are projecting, uh, you know probably they will open up and they will allow you to go to office. But as you know, social distancing norm probably you can take only 20%, 30%, or 40% of your manpower in order to maintain. Obviously, you cannot grow your office that big. <coughs> so. This partially, even your, even your, if you are able to work, but suddenly there can be a case that you know some few cases are di discovered in that building, and that building is locked down. So, so lot of uncertainty. So business continuity is very important, and your data is secure because on the cloud your data is secure. Unlike unlike your office, I, I tell you, we always have are under impression that you know we keep our uh, data in our own computers. That is the safest, but I beg to differ. 
your data is more secure on cloud using vpn and using access control we can restrict who can use who cannot use the data what time they can use the data how long they can use the data all those things can be done so these are the five things which cloud technology can empower with now operation control now operation control is very very important very very important if you look at it that zero loss of productivity how we can achieve the zero loss of productivity in these circumstances define workflow this is the most important important factor that you need to have a workflow for all your digital collaboration among your team members cross team within team that what is going to happen if you get a shipment how who will be the first one to do what will be what will happen next what will happen next who will do it which team will do it this is the most important part because uh, uh, freight forwarding and custom broking is not done by one person it's always team of people who are doing it and also digital collaboration among your field team they should have a seamless seamless connection to the field also supervise and evaluate team performance which is again very important you i'm not saying that you know you should have a micromanage your teams but you should have a provision to supervise and evaluate the performance on a regular basis real time visibility now you are sitting at home you don't know what is happening at least you should have a real time visibility what is happening across your uh, across your company so that is again very very important that you should have a view of a visibility what is happening so you can set alerts you can set uh, set notification that if something does not happen you are alerted because obviously if you have a large volume you can you cannot see each and everything set alerts and notification all risk this is this is the uh, most important part to make sure that you know your uh, nothing goes wrong and your customer keeps on getting the best services possible close tab on the number of job now this is the this is the uh, difficult time why i have included this is that if you look at the covid 19 situation the business of your uh, of your uh, customers are going down number of shipments are reducing so it's very very important that you keep on measuring that how much volume you were handling before and how much you are handling now there is a very clear because you cannot let your customer go so keep a close tab on number of job being handled now coming to the finance now finance as you know and as normally happens mostly it is the most neglected part of everybody's or small medium enterprises business normally it is the most neglected part <clears throat> no longer you cannot afford it because please understand in these difficult circumstances cash is king so cash flow is something which is very very important for you like i and my company i just ask two things or i just look at the two things of my company what is my collection and what is my liability uh, you know government giving me facility that i can i can uh, pay my tax after after uh, one month doesn't reduce my liability so i always keep into keep into tab what is my liability define credit limit for your all customers this is again very very important because i know this industry globally is giving lot of uh, credits lot of credit to their customer be cautious now this is not the right time to give the credit limits so define credit limits aging report now aging report is something which will tell you what is the financial health of your customer if customer is paying roughly in 45 days and if that days increases you know there is something wrong and you need to adjust your credit limits accordingly automated follow up payment and with escalation now this is very important that system should automatically follow up rather than you being you know or somebody because everybody is at home people are not there so at least reminders and everything should be going uh, automatically and every job should be profitable now this is something which i do, i should not tell you but all activity you do should be profitable and no extra payment without customer consent because i have seen seen the past that many times you approve of a additional payment and when the bill goes um because there is some verbal approval approval of payment and you just uh, you know give your give your services to the customer and when the when finally the invoice goes somebody somebody down there will stop it so these are the few things which is very important i'll again take you back to the uh, back to this that this was the typical office which used to be there then we changed we accept now that this is the new normal that people have to start working from home 
these are the few challenges and these are the three ways you can address these challenges now as as you know softlink is always always uh, always in the forefront of uh, whatever uh, industry is doing so i will like to also share with you some of the steps what we have taken to help the industry these are the some of the things which we are doing free upskilling program for manpower because we know the upskilling at this time of the this time is very important so what we are launching is from probably from next week because this is still being planned so don't ask me for the dates but probably we should be in position to launch uh, you know from next week free upskilling program that where we will be conducting conducting a online session where anyone from the logistic industry they may be our customer they may not be our customer irrespective it's a free program for anyone who can, who want to upskill themselves so please tell to your employees they can tell their friends they can take the advantage of this guiding companies to define process as i told you that defining process is very very important so this is something which we are planning to do that or we are we are doing currently that guiding companies that what processes should be and what are the uh, processes which being adopted by others so whatever the best practices for you you can adapt that faster implementation <coughs> because this is a difficult time people cannot wait for 15 days 20 days one month to implement they want to work now so faster implementation program we have also come out with videos so that people can watch videos your teams can watch videos these are the some of the things new features we are adding i'll dwell on this what are the few new features which we are adding uh, adding on on to the system and seamless integration with other partners as you know there are a lot of <coughs> other intermediaries which uh, you know need data, data like for egm for form 13 for a lot of other things you know you need to so currently the practice is that they enter the data what we have done is what we are doing is Uh, giving a seamless integration so that they can just the data can can transfer from logistics to those things those applications seamlessly without any uh, reentry of the data this is also we have already launched with few of the companies and we will be making official announce announcement shortly so these are the some of the things what we are doing what we have in terms of technology these are the two softwares what we have logistics and logistics pro many of you are using logistics logistics pro is meant for only custom brokers who have only custom broking activity my logistics is meant for uh, people who are having warehouse transport freight any kind of other activity both are similar in nature only in terms of functionality that's the difference so these are the two softwares so what you have to do is choose whichever you want to whichever you like or whichever is applicable to you now what logistics will do logistics will do this for you so instead of instead of earlier if you see that when your desktops and laptops were taken home and they were unconnected while over your logistics will make sure that you know everything is connected even your field staff because we have also launched some mobile apps and these field staffs will be able to and we are adding more and more functionality in mobile apps so that your field staff can easily your mobile app whenever there is a clearance even you know we are enabling that you know your from uh, from back end from your back office the documents can be sent to them because now custom as you know is accepting electronically document or whenever they clear the consignment or whenever the delivery is taken out or whenever there is a uh, there is a um, loading into the vessel the, the the information can be then and there given and your customers can be updated automatically so these are the few things which i will like to say that instead of using multiple things even my own system because some of you use my other old system which are which are which are basically desktop based system now in current environment those systems will will be very very difficult to use so this is something which i will i will recommend that this you will be implement you can implement some of them some of you who may be using our system still you should you should upgrade and you should look on how to how we can you can uh, you know enhance the productivity or at least keep the productivity at the same level even when people are working from home these are the some of the features which we are adding uh, many many features we are adding because we understand now the getting the payment is big problem <coughs> many of the companies may not be able to pay online so we are also 
uh, uh, you know, got a payment online link. Similarly, for signature, we also gave the e-signature. E-signature is, you know, your uh, signature by hand. Somebody can, it is in addition to digital signature. Now we are coming out with a, uh, with a system of digital signature in case of the custom, uh, you know, the document which we need to upload for the customs. Uh, we are coming out because currently I know what is happening is it is a lot of transaction by email, which is prone to error, prone to uncontrolled, a lot of uh, problems may be there. So we are coming out with uh, some, some solution of all that. Employee performance system, now this is very important that how people are working, what people are working, because dedicated people who were dedicated in office, they will remain dedicated. But there can be there can be some people who may not be working the way you want to. So we are coming up, we have come out with an employee dashboard, which will be released, uh, you know, in the upcoming version. <clears throat> so many things are, you know, what we are doing. And we are making sure that, you know, software will become more and more useful. In fact, I, I am proud to say that my team is working Monday to Sunday all days, all days. And to make sure that, you know, we can add more and more features very quickly, which can make this uh, new normal as a, no longer a challenge for you or the new normal is no longer a challenge for our customers. That is what is our aim. Now, what, how we do it? This is our implementation strategy, which is very, very important for you to understand. Uh, people who are not using our system, what we, what we do is we prepare them, we start the critical, which is done in three, four days time, and then we move toward essential, and then we move toward the strategic part. So these are the some things what we, what we try to do, and we are trying to help. Now, this is something which I, I would like you to remember that this is one thing earlier, you were having floor, floor of the office, which was something which was unifying everyone. Now, when people go away from home, away from, uh, from your office, there's no floor of office unifying them. You cannot unify them by just phone calls or by Zoom calls or by, uh, you know, your, um, in any other way, you need technology to unite them because freight forwarding and custom broking is all about collaboration. It's all about collaborating with multiple agencies, multiple people, internal, external. So you need to have an electronic collaboration rather than having a loose uh, voice-based or an email-based kind of a collaboration. So with that, I will uh, like to thank you all for listening to me. And uh, this, is, this is what is, uh, is very dear to me. This industry is very dear to me. I've been involved in this industry for a very long time and I hope I will be able to contribute uh, contribute something to you people where you can uh, manage or you can adjust to the new norm or rather look this as an opportunity because this is a great opportunity which is coming on your way. Please ready to grab it because if you don't, then somebody else will grab it. Thank you.